Yo, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be making my bracketology predictions for March 11th. So, Selection Sunday is tomorrow. The first game is in four days, it looks like, in the first four here. So, right before I... Yeah, I'm so sorry. So, before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. We just lost a couple of subscribers today. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they would unsubscribe, but whatever. So... We are checking out March Madness Bracketology. So we start off here, I just want to clear up some things. In the first four here, I'm going to have NC State winning there, Pitt, Pitt winning here, Howard winning here, Southeast Missouri State winning here. I just wanted to clear that up. So if those are any of your teams, you know that you're moving on or that you're eliminated. So let's start off in the first round. We've got Kansas, Grambling State. I'm going to try to keep it really moving here. Just keep writing them in. So that we can, this video could be really long, so I just want to keep it moving. So we got Kansas taking down Grambling State. And then we're going to have Iowa taking down Auburn. We're going to have Duke taking down Charleston. And we're going to have Xavier taking down Louisiana. Now here's one of the, fin the first four games that I have Pitt winning. And I'm going to have Pitt moving on. I'm going to have them beating San Diego State. I think they're a very solid squad. Best team they've had in quite a bit. And a really big bounce back from last year. I'm going to have Tennessee taking down Southern Utah. That's no surprise to anyone. And I'm actually going to have Boise State taking down Northwestern. Next up, we got Arizona State. I mean, just Arizona. And they're going to easily take down Colgate, in my opinion. Next up, we're going to have Purdue taking on Southeast Missouri State. This is going to be a win by 20 plus. Purdue takes it. Next up, we're going to have Florida Atl Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Florida Atlantic taking on Memphis. I'm going to have Memphis winning this one. Next up, we got Texas A&M taking on Oral Roberts. Oral Roberts was a big surprise team last year. But I don't know. I don't see them making the same run this year, but they they are looking like they're going to make the tournament. So, still another big year for them. Kansas State is going to take down Toledo. Oh, we're in the East, by the way, now. We're going to have St. Mary's taking down Utah State. And we're going to have... Oh. This Excel... This Excel document is really weird. It's like, if you don't type it in exactly how I spelled it up there, then it says, like, invalid cell. You can't type it in. And it's so weird. I hate it. We're going to have UConn taken down Vermont. And then final one, final two games here. In the East, we're going to have Michigan State taking down Providence. And then we're going to have Baylor taking down Montana. Okay, so... Bro, chill. We're going to have that i don't know it's so weird this i'm trying to get a better excel document i'll get it get a better one next when we do the march madness predictions which could be tomorrow maybe the next day i don't know tomorrow is sunday so i have some duties i'm gonna have alabama taking down okay alabama has been giving me struggles because you just it has to be hashtag name question mark so, yeah, whatever. We'll just go along with that. I'm going to have Maryland taking down West Virginia. So then I'm going to have Iowa State taking down VCU. Then I'm going to have Virginia taking down Iona. And I'm going to have Miami, Florida taking down Rutgers. And I'm going to have Marquette. Taking down Furman, and I'm gonna have Kentucky taking down USA. Then I'm gonna have Texas taking down Kennesaw State. No surprise there. Houston, Northern Kentucky. Hehe. <laughs> oh my god. That's literally what I typed. Okay, whatever. So Houston taking down Northern Kentucky. I'm gonna have Arkansas. Taking down Illinois. Okay, TCU is one of these that are probably going to pop up with that. I'll just type in. Go ahead and do it. The hashtag name is so weird. I don't know why it does it. 
We'll put that there. Gonna have Indiana taking down Yale, no problem. Okay, here's where I'm gonna have an upset here. You guys ready for this? NC State is going to take down Creighton. Big upset. The ACC is stacked this year, in my opinion. I mean, minus North Carolina. You know, Kentucky's had a down year, but a lot of smaller schools have stepped up and really improved. I mean, NC State was great in the past, but this year, I, I really like them. Now, the team I'm going to be rooting for this year is going to be Penn State. Obviously, living in Pennsylvania, I am a North Carolina fan. But I'm still going to have, I'm still going to be rooting for Penn State because they're my second team. And now we have UCLA going to take down UNC Asheville. Okay, that's it for the first round. Now you guys get the gist of it. Now we got the second round here. March 19th to the 20th to move on to the Sweet 16. All right, this is where the boys get separated from the men. Kansas, Iowa. Kansas has to move on. Kansas is a really great squad. Duke, Xavier. What a matchup this is. I'm um, being a little biased. Obviously, as a North Carolina fan, I hate Duke with a burning passion. So I'm going to have Xavier winning, but that's not the only reason. I think Xavier's got a great team this year. Now, I want to pick Pitt here. Also, obviously, being from Pennsylvania in the Pittsburgh area. Going to have Tennessee beating them, though. Because... I just, I just think Tennessee's the better team. Like, North Carolina could take down Pitt. I don't know if North Carolina could take down Tennessee, though. So, yeah, that's what I have. I am going to have... Ooh, should I... I think Boise State is really good. Don't get me wrong. But I think Arizona is a little bit better. It's, it's a tough one. It's a toss-up for me, but I have to have them winning. This one's a no-brainer. I think Memphis has a decent squad. Top 25 worthy? Yes. Sweet 16 worthy? Oh, I don't know about that. And they're definitely not better than Purdue. Okay, this is a close... That's going to be a close matchup, but I am going to have Texas A&M taking it. St. Mary's taking on UConn. This is a heck of a matchup. I'm going to have UConn winning. They started off the season really hot, and now they're hot again. We'll take that out of context. Michigan State taking on Baylor. Ooh, what a matchup. Wow. Michigan State Baylor. I am going to have Baylor winning. Okay, now we move on to the Sweet 16. Got to keep it moving. Sweet 16. Maryland. How about that? How about that? Maryland is red hot. I have them taking down Alabama. Alabama has had some questionable moments this year. I'll say that. Now I'm going to have Iowa State taking down Virginia. Now, I think Virginia has been very questionable recently. They lost to North Carolina. I don't love that Virginia team. I think they are on shaky ground, so I have Iowa State beating them. I'm gonna, I am going to have Marquette, Meade, Miami, Florida. That's enough of the upsets for now. Or is it? Yeah, Kentucky can't beat Texas. Texas is winning that one. Um... Houston, Arkansas. Ooh, that's a good matchup. That I could definitely see Arkansas putting up a fight. That's a game that I would love to watch. I am going to have Houston winning. TCU taking on Indiana. I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to have Indiana winning. I think it'll be a very close matchup, five versus four. But Indiana, I think, is the better squad. NC State, Gonzaga. As much as I'm rooting for NC State this year, I don't know why I'm even rooting. Why am I rooting for NC State? They're like our second biggest rival. But anyways, they're not going to win this game anyways. Gonzaga's going to take it. Penn State, my team, they've got a tough matchup against UCLA. As much as I love Penn State, I am going to have to have UCLA beat them. And now we are moving on to the Elite Eight as we have Kansas taking on Zane. We'll do horses. Okay, we have UCLA. Now, moving on to the Elite Eight. We're going to have Kansas taking on Xavier. I am going to have Xavier taking down the dark horse, Kansas. Xavier's winning, moving to the Elite... The, yeah, the Elite Eight. Tennessee, Arizona. Uh, what a game. What a game. I am going to have Tennessee... We need that one. It's going to be a really close game, though. 
So yeah, that's going to be a really close game, but I do have Tennessee winning it. And next up, we got Purdue taking on Texas A&M. Another great matchup. This March Madness is going to be perfection. But I do have Purdue taking that one. Purdue's a really strong team. They're going to be tough to take down. Now get this. I'm going to have Baylor taking down UConn. That's going to be a great game to watch. That'll be plenty of fun. Now Maryland taking on Iowa State. I am going to have Iowa State winning this one. Iowa State in the Elite Eight. Who would have guessed that? Insane. That's what March Madness is, though. Marquette, Texas. I'm actually going to have Marquette beating, winning this one. And now these predictions could are going to easily change by Selection Sunday tomorrow. But I do think that it's going to stay relatively the same. But a couple of teams are going to fall out. A couple of teams are going to come in. You know, you know how it is. I am going to have Houston winning. Houston has been a really great squad all year. Ooh, Gonzaga, UCLA. What a game that is. Wow. Ooh. I'm going to have to have UCLA winning it. UCLA has the most championships with 11 out of any team. So they are going for 12 to extend their lead so no one can take them down. And they have a really good chance as a two seed this year. But we have Xavier, Tennessee. I love the Xavier team. Don't get me wrong. I really love Xavier. <sighs> Oh, I hate this. This is so tight. You know what? Since my, stay, my name starts with an X, I am going to have Xavier winning. Xavier is moving on to the Final Four. And who will be the other team on this side going into the Final Four? We're in between Purdue and Baylor. Purdue, Baylor, Purdue, Baylor, Purdue to Baylor. <sighs> Baylor's a great squad. Don't get me wrong. Purdue is better, though. Man, this is tough. Okay, Iowa State Marquette. I am going to have... Hold up a minute. Went into the wrong spot. I am going to have Marquette taking the W. Going into the Final Four. And the final team into the Final Four is Houston or UCLA. And this is a crazy good game. A crazy good game. I think Houston... I always love to see those smaller schools getting in. And Houston is going to the Final Four. Now we have our final four matchups set. We got Xavier taking on Purdue, and we've got Marquette taking on Houston. Xavier Purdue, Xavier Purdue, Xavier is going to the national championship, and then Houston Marquette, Marquette is going to the national championship. If this comes true, if this comes true, what an incredible March Madness that would be! Like. A four seed against a six seed or something. Insane. Insane. And your 2023 March Madness champion is. Drum roll, please. Xavier. Imagine. Imagine this happens. And we'll just go tiebreaker for fun here. Let's see. I think it's going to be like 87 to 90. High scoring game. High scoring. Be like. What is that, 177, I think? Math. You know it. Still in school. <laughs> you don't need to know that. And that's going to be it for me today. Please subscribe to the channel. We've got fun stuff coming. In the next couple of days, we're going to get out with our March Madness predictions. And, yeah, if we get 10 likes on this, I'm going to make this a regular thing. And I'm going to do this every Fragatology next year. Thanks so much for watching. See ya later.